the edge of wetness. <laughs> this is Jack Feldman. <laughs> he is new in town. Jack once went to the public trout park and tried to commit suicide with a Civil War cannon. But all that happened was he blew a hole in the side of his mercury. <laughs> and this woman is Barbara Lickoff. <laughs> She was a child, she joined a circus and married a contortionist, but left him when he fell in love with himself during his act. <laughs> she later took up with this man, Dwight Hemingway. <laughs> because of his name, Dwight decided to become an author. His books didn't do very well because Dwight could only remember 20 letters of the alphabet. Dwight was penniless until he met this woman, Sandra Hermé. <laughs> Sandra is the purest woman in town. At night, she glows from the waist down. <laughs> Sandra's brother, Milo Herme, owns the local toy store. Milo was recently busted for taking the battery-operated devices out of his dolls and using them in an unnatural way. <laughs> and this is Mildred Birmingham. <laughs> dragged her across the state of Wyoming. <laughs> Consequently... <laughs> Consequently, whenever a Western movie is on television, Mildred has to take a case of Valium, supplied to her by this man, Robert Harrington, an out-of-work choreographer. He was arrested twice for trying to teach a wino how to dance in an alley behind the adult bookstore. <laughs> he and Mildred went out into the woods one day and carved their initials on the side of a wolf. For laughs, Robert tried to drown Mildred in a dried-up pond. Robert is deathly afraid of this woman, Agnes Rumpwanger. The town widow, Agnes achieved widowhood by murdering the last six men who married her. No charges were pressed because in each case it was the husband who requested the murder. <laughs> Agnes was recently indicted by this man, District Attorney Frank Belcher. Frank is very neurotic. One of his three bedrooms is completely filled with oranges. Frank is the only man to make a person-to-person -person call to Adolf Hitler from Pittsburgh. <laughs> and this is the entire population of Sludge Falls, and here's how they reacted to the news that the dam had broken.